Thank you for listening to our Faith Temple, NFPOG, broadcast. If you would like more information about us, you can visit our website at www.ftnfcog.org. We are also on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Just type Faith Temple, NFCOG in the search. Now you can also listen to us on your favorite podcast with just a search, Faith Temple NFCOG. Listen on the go with your favorite streaming platforms, like YouTube, Spotify, Audible, Apple, Amazon Music, Google, Facebook, and Anchor Podcasts. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I, just, I hadn't heard that song in a while, and I decided to play that song. Um because it does talk about the awesomeness of God. And I'm just, I was just thinking, um, because of a whole lot of stuff that was going on, how great God is in our lives, how great he is in our lives. And at this time, if Bishop does not mind, as usual, opening us up in prayer. Well, praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We truly give God the glory and all the praise this morning. Uh, glad to be here one more time to uh, just worship and praise God with you all. Father, hallelujah. We just to let's go to the throne of grace and call on our God. That's yes. why we're here this morning. Yes. Hallelujah. To make a connection with yes. God. Yes. Hallelujah. hallelujah. To give him praise and to give him worship. Hallelujah. Father God, we just truly thank you this morning. We truly give you all honor and all glory, Father. For we know that if it was not for you, God, we would not have been woke up this morning. We thank you and we praise your holy name, God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we recognize you as our creator. We recognize that we are your creation, Father. Mold and shape us, Lord. Let us be the men and women you called us to be yes. oh my lord my god hallelujah you're god all by yourself and we thank you lord god we thank you what you're doing in our lives we thank you what you're doing in the northern neck in richmond and Fredericksburg. Yes. hallelujah in stafford father yes. god all all around in King George, Lord, and in connecting counties, God, we thank you what you're doing in this world, Father. Oh, Father, we just praise your holy name. You let us know that you are in charge, not man, Father, and we thank you for that, God, that we can call on your name, hallelujah. We can come to you, Father. we got the spirit of adoption that says, I'm a Father, hallelujah, our Father who art in heaven, hallelujah, is in charge of everything, and we praise and worship your name, God, in the good times and in the bad, Father. Oh, Father, we just ask you now, God, to work, bless this service, Lord. Let your anointing, hallelujah, flow through the network, Lord. Flow through the internet, Father God. Touch the speaker for the day, Father God. Anoint your word, Father, that it will not come back board, Father. We thank you right now. Damn God, we thank you for the healing that you're doing in our lives, Lord, spiritually and physically, Lord. We thank you for your word, Lord, that comes alive yes. in us, Father. We thank you, Father, for the Holy Ghost, God. Oh, Spirit of the living God, yes, have Lord. your way right now yes. in this service, Father God. Yes. Oh, God, let everything be let us find you, Father, and not us, Father. Let you get the glory, Father, in our praise and in our worship, Father. We thank you again, God, for how you're blessing our families, God. Oh, Father, we thank you that we can stand on your word knowing that our children, our loved ones are going to be saved, Father. We truly bless your holy name, God. Oh, God, we just, just praise you right now. We thank you right now, God, for everything that you're doing. It's my God, hallelujah, you turn our situations around, God. Oh, God, we thank you right now, Father. Bless your holy name. Oh, have your way, God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, we thank you. And we ask you all these things, Father, in Jesus' name. And let the church of God say amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Can you give Run my heart this morning. Hallelujah. Psalm 112. Hallelujah. Psalms 112. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. I'm going to read all 10 verses. Yes, sir. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 I hope everyone has it. 
Hallelujah. Psalms 112. Now I'm get verse 1. Praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that fears the Lord, that delights greatly in his commandments. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endureth forever. Unto the upright there rises light in the darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. A good man shows favor and lineth. He will guide his affairs with discretion. Surely he shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. His heart is established. He shall not be afraid until he see his desire upon his enemies. He has dispersed. He has given to the poor. His righteousness endures forever. His horn shall be exalted with honor. The wicked shall see it and be grieved. He shall snatch with his teeth and melt away. The desire of the wicked shall pass. And I go back to verse one again. Bless ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that feared the Lord, that he delighteth greatly in his commandments. Hallelujah. Thank, thank God. Thank so let's bless you with your word. Hallelujah. I thank him. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I was asking if Mother Vicky, if she don't mind giving us a song. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just one. I feel this other part. Take a little time right now to thank you, Lord. Yes. 
for all you've done for me. I just want, hallelujah, to take a little time right now to thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. Glory, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I just want to take a little time right now to thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. Do I say thank you, Lord? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank Thank you, thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, you may Praise his name. Thank you, Lord. Same deacon, I hear you. 
I love to praise him, because I love to praise his name. I love to praise his holy name. He's my rock, my sword. He'll never, he'll never, he'll never be down. He's just a jewel. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. I love the praises name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Because I love to praise his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love to praise his name. I love to praise his name. Because he's my rock. He's my, rock. my sword. I'm sword shield. He's my will. He's my will. In the middle of the world, I know he'll never, I know he'll never, never let me down. He's, he's just, just a jewel, a jewel that I have found. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 Because I love to praise his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because I love to praise his name. Oh, I love to praise his holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. At this time, hallelujah. If anyone has a testimony, I would not withhold you from giving it right now. Thank you, Lord. I bless your holy name. I'm so grateful for the time I signed in this morning and the song was playing into the worship, Sister Vicky and Deaconess and every the word that's come forth already. My heart's just so full of joy. The tears are flowing, but they're not tears of sadness. They're just tears of joy. I am so grateful to the Lord for saving me. I am saved from my sins. I'm justified by faith and I'm sanctified. Going on to see what the end's going to be. Thank you, Lord. I love you, Lord, with all of my heart. Help us, Father, to do everything you've called us to do. Thank you for my brothers and sisters in Christ. I am so grateful, Father, for each and every one. It is so good. I'm going from testifying to praying. But anyhow, Lord, thank you. I am all right. All right, I am all right, great. That's all I can say this morning is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. He has brought me from a mighty long way. There is a, a singer who says, nobody knows, like I know, what God has done for me. I'm grateful since this morning. Glad to see you all. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want to give honor to my God this morning. The Lord mm -hmm. give Jesus Christ with all my heart. I love him. Hallelujah. And I want to honor my bishop and uh, pastor and elders and the deaconess. I just thank God for each and every one of you. I just want to thank God. I give him a special thank this morning because he brought me through a surgery on Friday and I'm doing fine. And I just want to thank him. I praise his Lord. I just, yes, Lord. I can't thank God enough for, for what he had done for me in my lifetime. I just love him. I just honor his holy name and I just praise him. Hallelujah. I mm -hmm. praise him. Hallelujah. 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 I just praise God. Hallelujah. This morning for on just, just, just being my God. Hallelujah. How he had kept me over the years. I thank him. Hallelujah. And I thank him for carry me through on Friday for their uh, surgery. I come out, everybody, everybody's wondering why I, I didn't act like I had any, any uh, after effects or anything. And God has walked with me the whole time. And I just thank him. I praise his holy name. You know the Lord. Uh, if you know God, just give him honor because 
He is your God. Hallelujah. And he will do what you want him to do. I pray for the uh, uh, success when he gave it to me. And I just thank God. Hallelujah. And I honor him as his holy name. Those who know the words of prayer continue to pray for me as I'll be praying for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. Hallelujah. That's my testimony. What a mighty God we serve. I give honor to uh, my bishop, to my pastor, to elder, to all the saints of God. I truly thank God for just one more day. I thank God for how he just takes care of us. I thank God for how he forgave me for my sin. I just truly thank God and just thank him for everything he's doing. I thank him for how he has healed my body. My health is coming along really, really, really good. And I just thank God. I thank God. I just praise him for just who he is and for what he do. And I just can't give no no more honor and praise that he is just good. You know, sometimes you look at things that you don't have or whatever. But God has provided everything that we need and everything that I need. And I just can't ask God for nothing else but just thank him for the things that he's done. What if I see that he's going to do that I don't know about? But I honor him today, and I just give him praise. Thank you. Amen. I just thank him. Hallelujah. I do want to say that Brother Jonathan posted something in the chat. He said, happy Sunday. Everyone glad to be in the house of the Lord this morning on via Zoom. But I'm going to let him say that openly. So I'm going to give him an opportunity to go ahead and testify. I know he would try to put it in the chat, but you got to understand we have saints who don't know how to work all of that. So I'm going to let you go ahead and <laughs> right now. Yeah. I put good morning, everyone. I just put that in chat because I didn't want to verbalize it, but I'll, I'll be obedient and I'll go ahead and say, I just want to say good morning. And I know time is short, so I just want to say good morning. And it's nice to be awake this morning. Yeah. Amen. 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 I often say, and um, we have said it before, that when we want to do testimony service, we all then look for them big, fiery testimonies. And people think that they don't have a testimony because they don't have this big major event that happened in their life. But I've said before, God woke me up this morning. That's a yes. testimony. I'm in my right mind. That's a testimony. I have activities of my limbs. That is a testimony. I, I, I don't want to go through all that big stuff to have a testimony. <laughs> you know, I I I know I, this this is me. I guess I'm just, like I said yesterday. This is Lance in the Rail speaking right now. I don't want. I don't want to have to go through all these big trials and tribulations so I can have a burning testimony. God is good to me. He is good to me. And I just want to that, that, that's encourage people to uh, that's, that's encourage people to let them know that you have a testimony. You woke up this morning and God has blessed you. That's a burning testimony. Uh, are we froze? No, go ahead, Deacon, um, Tracy. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you had said something, Deacon Tracy. But if that's it, if anyone else has a testimony, I'm going to give you the floor. Elder, she did say something. She asked if we were frozen. I don't know. Uh, I, was, I couldn't see anything. I couldn't hear anything. Oh, no, no, ma'am. It looked like everything is working. Okay. But I'm giving the, the, anyone that has have a testimony for it be gone. If not, before I start this message, I want to honor uh, Mother Smith because her birthday is on March 9th and I do want us to recognize <laughs> her even Happy though birthday, uh, Mother. her birthday is this week. So I just want to say happy birthday to Mother Smith. 
Thank Happy you birthday. so much. Thank you so much. I, you totally surprised me with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Your Honor, I, I almost did it while we was at Gold Corral State and get them to come in there and say happy, happy birthday to you, but I didn't do all of that. But yeah, we could have had a little cake too. Yeah, but I did want to <laughs> honor you because your birthday is on this week. Oh, yes. Amen. Thank you so much. Love you all. Tracy, Tracy, got, Tracy got to say happy birthday to you. Oh, boy, you put your sister Tracy on the spot. <laughs> Go ahead, Dickie Tracy. Yes, ma'am. Happy birthday to you happy happy birthday to you happy birthday mother smith happy birthday to you happy birthday mother happy birthday thank you so much thank happy you happy birthday thank you thank you everybody I think I would have missed it if she hadn't sung that, though it's such a tradition. <laughs> I appreciate all of you all. Yes. At this time, our hearts and minds, no one else has a testimony. I'm going to the, uh, the lesson. I'm going to share my screen with you. And I woke up this week. Um, kind of singing this scripture. I don't know why. Some uh, People who know me, God deals with me in songs. And when I wake up in the morning, there's always a song ringing in my head from Jesus, I love you to I just called to say I love you. You know, it, it'll be random, but it'll have something to do with it. Sometimes it's, it's a prayer. Sometimes my songs are a prayer. But I, I kind of woke up and it was at work singing this song, singing this um, verse in the Bible. I don't know if there's a song like this, but I was actually singing um, the eighth verse in my spirit. And I was working on it and, you know, trying to see God, is this what you want me to speak to the people? And he added some other scriptures to it. But before I start, let me um, bow before God and go into prayer. Father God, we bless you. We thank you. We honor you on today, God. We ask you to give us your word, Father, for your people. God, that you will be glorified, you'll be magnified, God, that we will walk in true righteousness and true holiness, oh God. Use me, oh Father, to your glory. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. And as I was going through this scripture, and especially the uh, 38th verse, um, God was dealing me with some things, and I'm going to read the, the first scripture is from John chapter 7 verse 37 and verse 38 and it says in the last day that great day of the feast jesus stood up and cried saying if any man thirst let him come unto me and drink he that believeth on me as the scripture has said out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water and most of the time when i do hear the scripture or it being preached they normally flow down to the um, bottom of the 38 verses that, you know, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. But God was giving me uh, something. He said, there's a first step to that. It said, he that believes on me, as the scripture says, then out of his belly shall flow. But before that, if you go back to verse 37, it says, if any man thirsts, let him come and come unto me and drink. And if I have a uh, sermon topic today, if, if y'all want that, it would be, are you thirsty enough? Are you All right. thirsty enough? And when, uh, when we see the word thirsty, Sometimes I, 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 I believe sometimes in, in, even in America, we not really understand the concept of thirsty because there's people in other countries who are really thirsty and you will see them on TV and in videos and that they want water so badly that they will drink almost anything to get a relief of thirst. You know, we, we, we complain about the tap water or how much bottled water is, but we see people sometimes in videos drinking dirty contaminated water 
so they can get a quench of thirst. That's that's a true thirst. I don't matter what's in the water. I want to get a thirst. I want to relieve this. And God was saying that in the, in the reverse sense, I want you to be that thirsty for me, that you will do anything to get to me, for me to drink of me. And he was saying, are you thirsty enough? I remember when my one of my nephews was younger. Um, he didn't know too many words, but he always, every time he wanted something to drink, he said, I want some water. So what my family used to do, when he said, I want water, they'll give him a drink, like Capri Sun, Kool-Aid or whatever. And, but they knew that he meant, they knew what he meant when he wanted something to drink. And when it came to me, I was around watching it. And when he came to me, he said, I want some water. Y'all know who I am and how I am. I actually gave him water. And he looked at me after he drunk it. He looked at me like, this is not what I asked for. And I explained to him, I said, yes, this is what you asked for. You asked for water. Now, when you learn how to say, hey, I, I, can I have a Capri Sun? Can I have some apple juice? Then I will give you that. But I don't want you to be confused of what water is and what other drinks are. Because one thing that we know we in, in, in science and all of that, water is the only thing that can quench a thirst. We could drink sodas. We could drink Kool-Aid. We could drink all that other stuff. But water is the only thing that can quench a thirst. So when you ask for water, I'm gonna give you what you ask for. So we have to be mindful of what we ask for because we can get these all these imitational stuff and it, it'll satisfy maybe for a second, but water is the only thing that will quench us. Water is a natural um, quencher of thirst. And Jesus was saying that I want you to come and drink of me. If any man thirsts, let him come unto me and drink. And the world um, thirst is different from a godly thirst because we thirst for other things. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We, we can say that we, we don't, but yes, we do. It, we, 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 anything that we want, we'll go out and get it because we have that desire. But God was like, I want you to have a strong desire for me and come and drink of me. John 4, 13 and 14 says, Jesus answered and said unto her, whosoever drink of this water shall thirst again. And he was talking about natural water because we understand that when he had went to the well, he had set the disciples off to go get some um, meat. And he was at in Siberia at the well in them. Um, the woman came up to the well. He asked her to give her something to drink. And I'm just going to paraphrase it a little bit. She kind of looked at him and said, who do you think you are asking me to give you something to drink? You don't you realize that we don't have anything to do with the Jews, but yet you asking me to give you something to drink. And he was saying, if you realize who I was, you know, that you would ask, you not only would you ask for me to give you something to drink, but she was so into not uh, not understanding. It, but he said, "This water that's in this well that Jacob did, you're gonna thirst again. The water that we have in our house, we're gonna thirst again. The bottles of water that we have in our refrigerator or whatever, we are going to thirst again." But he, Jesus said, as I said unto her, he said, "Who shall ever drink of this water?" shall thirst again, but whoever, whosoever drinks of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him as a well of water springing up into everlasting life. So God right. was like, I want to give you everlasting life. Spring. You'll see that the other scripture said you'll be a well of water out of your belly shall flow rivers with an S of living water. In this verse, he said that you will be well of water springing up. And the water that God gives us is a, re 
it's refreshing and renewing in our soul and in our minds. And so we can help other people. The water that he gives us would always quench everything in our lives. The water that he gives us is all we need to survive. See, 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 I, I think the um people say they you know we can uh, live eight days without food and only three days without water. But I saw somebody post that, but we can't live one second without God. And we got to understand that the water that he gives us will quench everything in your life. If, if, if you have a trouble in your life, drink that water. You won't, you won't have trouble anymore. If, you, if you're having a situation going on in your life, if you drink of that water, you're not going to have that problem anymore. See, the, the thing is that we so much into what we want to quench our thirst for, which is bad for us. See, see l- last year, I cut out all drinks but water. I, I cut sodas out years ago. And I was still drinking um, teas and Alma Palmas and all of that. But last year, I cut out everything but water. Even when I was at Golden Corral yesterday, I drank water because I, I know that if some if I drink other stuff, it could be bad for me. That sugar and all that other stuff and that comet um, native stuff, it can mess up my life. It can mess up things in my body. So if I just drink water, that helps clean, purify things out of me. Now, if that works in the natural I hear a in my ear. If that works in the natural, how is that in the spiritual when we drink of God? When we drink the things of God, everything else in our life got to flush out because if he's living in us, if he's dwelling in us, if we have that well of living water inside of us, what more can we ask? What more can we uh, um, get if God is dwelling in us and that spring and, and living water is bubbling up in us? We, we ready to go. We we have that energy. I, I know what they say, Gatorade do and Powerade and all of that, and, and, and no electrolytes and all of that, but God is greater than an electrolyte that man can make up in a lab. God is greater than anything that um, <laughs> we can conjure up in the grocery store or whatever, if we drink of him, if we are thirsty enough, and you have to get to that point that we have to be thirsty enough, God, that I want you. I want to drink you, God. I want you to be in me. I want what you have because the woman at the well, she realized after Jesus had told her everything about her, she ran and told the whole town, come and see a man who told me everything about me. She had that well of, of water springing up that quickly and her that she had to go tell somebody else to come and drink. That's how good that water is. I know we say, taste to see that the Lord is good and all of that. We, you really got to sit down and have a, a taste sometimes of God and just to see how good he is. We, we have a, a, a desire of, you know, um, test, tasting other things. And, and you know, there, there's uh, actually people who do that for a living, taste testers and going out wine testers and all of that, you know, and, and they judge the quality of this and they judge the quality of that. But when you have a taste and a drink of God, nothing else that we have ever eaten in the natural is going to compare to God. If you, you really, really, really get the understanding of who God is. I know, you know, me born and raised in church, you know, I was, you know, that of God one way to after I got saved and, I, and us who were walking in God, you know, we, we thank God one way, but when we really got that fresh taste of who he was, you know, our mind, we say, uh-uh, uh-uh, I, I, this, this ain't, uh, you know, you know, when we go to a restaurant sometimes and you order the same thing and when they come on the plate, you taste it, oh, this don't taste right, uh-uh, send, send it back, send it back. When, when, when you really have a taste of God, everything else that you have eaten in the world is not going to satisfy you in no, anymore. Everything that you have eaten, you know, in the flesh, when you have a true taste of God, you know, uh-uh, send that back. That, that's, that, that don't satisfy me anymore because I am thirsty and I only want to drink of God. 
then I know that he's going to cleanse and purify me and give me what I need. I'm going to have that um, living water springing up in my soul. I'm going to be that well of water running, I mean, overflowing in my life if I have that thirst. And God was like, I want you to, I'm just talking to myself too, I'm not just talking to the one person. I'm talking to myself too. I want you to get thirsty enough that you want to drink me. I want to be thirsty enough that God, you are my supplier. You are my all in all. You're the one that gives me everlasting life. I want that spring of water running up in my soul. That's what God said. I want you to get thirsty enough. And I'm not saying that we're not thirsty because we all are thirsty, but there's a difference when you are, when, when you, when you want God to quench what's going on in you, when you, when you want him to be your satis, uh, uh, satisfaction, when you want him to satisfy you, see, because that would, that would a, 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 a drink of water do is satisfy you. It, it, uh, I, when I was looking up some things, he said that it's a uh, appetite suppressant. Water is a natural appetite suppressant. You know, we we you know we, we see that we'll eat other things and we're still hungry afterwards. You're like, what? You know, you eat some spaghetti and and you're hungry afterwards, and you eat all of that and you're still hungry. I think that's eating, but water is a, a natural appetite suppressor. And when you get with God and when you drink of His water. You know, he is the one that fills your belly. He is the one that quenches everything in you. And God said, I want you to be thirsty enough to drink me. If, if, if you require of me, if you want to know about me, if you want to learn of me, then you must drink of me. If, if you want to know how to live holy, you want to know truly how to live righteous, if you want to truly know what I called you to do and what I have placed in this world for you to do, then you must drink of me. You must be thirsty enough to drink what I have for you. Because the water I give you, you're not going to thirst anymore. The water that I'm going to place in you, you don't have to worry about it anymore. But if you continue to drink the other things, then you're going to continue to look for other things. That's why some people are never satisfied because they keep drinking things that God said not to drink. They they never satisfy. I, I, I praise you on this Sunday, but then Monday I'm going through this. I, God, I come to church on Tuesday nights and then I'm going through this and I'm going through that. But God said, drink of me. I bet you if you drink of me, you don't have to worry about anything. If you drink of me, you won't never thirst again. If you drink of me, I supply all your needs. But see, if you, you keep going through all of this stuff, you're wasting your money, keep going buying bottles of water every, every week from the store and all of this stuff. But if you drink from me, you don't have to worry about that. And I'm not saying not to drink naturally because you need water to survive in the natural. But in the spirit, too, you also give God what he desires and he wants you to drink of him. He wants you to drink of him. And I'm still not done. I got another scripture coming up. Psalms 42 and two. And this, this is a song that we all go by. We always read. It says, as the deer pants for the stream of water. So my soul longest after you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, the living God. Your soul must thirst for God. You must have a hunger and thirst for God. If you don't have a hunger and thirst for God, then it's not going to be satisfied. Go back to what I, I said earlier. We all have thirst for things. But if we don't give, if we don't have a thirst for God, you won't be satisfied. As the, as the deer and me living up here, I have deer always in the back. I'll be looking in the backyard. Here come a deer or just walking in the backyard. And there, they pan for the stream of water. And they do it knowing that something can be around them and they could be in danger. But they go and they go to the stream because they know that what's going to quench their thirst. And you got to understand that he was saying as that deer go to get that drink father knowing that the trouble may be around the corner my soul wants to be before you as that thirsty knowing that you are going to protect me you're going to cover me 
because when the enemy comes in like a flood, God's going to lift up a standard against it. But I got to be right there in his presence. I want to be in your presence, God. When things are around you, that's the best place to be. When things are going around in your life, the best place to be is in God. I hear Bishop talk about Psalm 91. When you, when you, when you has you under the shadow of the Almighty, when you are under his wing, that's the best place to be. But you got to drink of him to get there. You got to be thirsty for God to drink there. For because my soul is thirsty. Ah, have your soul ever been thirsty? When your soul is thirsty for God. You will do anything and everything to get to God. Just like when you see these videos in Africa, when they drink in dirty water, they don't care how, how dark and yucky the water is, they're going to drink it because they are so thirsty for God. God said, I want you to be just as thirsty for me that you will do whatever it takes to get to me so I can fill you up and be rivers of living water. One more verse, and, and we, we talked about this a uh, couple of weeks ago when Mother was talking about blessed, and that's Matthew 5 and 6. And it says, blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Go again, when your hunger and in your thirst after righteousness, when your hunger and thirst after God, you are going to be filled. God is not going to leave you hanging and not do what he wants to do with you. He, you it, it, if you put your, if your faith in God and you believe and trust in what God is wanting to do in your life, he's just not going to leave you hanging. He's not going to just, oh, you come to the door, you're knocking at the door, oh, you, you want some food? No, I'm not going to give you no food, close the door. That's not how God works. That's not how he operates because he said, if you're hungry, I'm going to feed you. If you're thirsty, if you come to me, I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give you what you need. If But you have to come to me. How is it in the natural, I'm hungry. I don't have no food in the refrigerator. I don't have nothing to have the money and all of that, but I don't never get up and go to the store or go to McDonald's to get something to eat. I have to go to where it is to get the food. I have to go to food line. I have to go to Walmart. That's only two places here in Warsaw that I, that I got to go in Walmart night in Warsaw to go get the food. I have to go to the place where I need to get the food or the drink. But if I'm sitting here and saying, no, I'm not going to go and I know everything empty, then I'm going to starve to death. But I have to be in a place where God is. He says, come unto me. And then I'll give you the drink. Then guess what I have to do? I have to come unto him. And so do we have to. We have to go unto him. I can't stay to say, God, you know, I want you to feed me, God. And looking for the, somebody to knock at my door and, and, and from Uber Eats and I ain't ordered nothing. I have to go to where he say go. And for me to do it, for me to go back to it. And I want to go back to it is, again, it says, he that believes on me, as the scriptures have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So we have to be in his word. We have to be before his face. We have to believe as he said in the scriptures. He said, in a man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. So you have to go to where he is. We have to be in his presence and we have to be thirsty enough to be willing to drink of God. We have to be hungry enough to go before God to get what he requires of us. If we don't do that, then you are going to starve. If you're going to do that, then you're going to be parched and you're not going to have anything to nourish your body. But if any man thirsts, let him come unto me and drink. You have to be thirsty enough to want God. You have to be thirsty enough to want God. And I just thank God. Father God, we bless you. We honor you and we praise your God for your word, God. Let us be a thirsty enough to drink of you, God. Open our hearts and our minds and our understandings, Father, to do what you have called us to do, God. And we praise you and we glorify you for your word. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Amen.
Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Before we go into our communion section, I'm asking if uh, Mother Smith or Bishop have anything to say or elaborate before we go into that session. All I want to say is thank you, Lord, for the word. Yes. God, I bless your holy name. Yes, Lord. Give us that hunger and thirst the more. Hallelujah. Thank you for the word. Yes, God. The word. You got a hunger and thirst. Yes. Amen. I'm gonna ask, I know I'm using them a lot today, but I'm asking Mother Vicky to give us one more song while Dickie Tracy um, gets the scripture ready for communion. And if you don't have communion on today, your uh, your supplies are still okay. We thank you for being in the service. If you do, thank God that you do have it, but I'm just, just saying if you don't have any supplies, it's still okay. Thank God for being in the service. Go ahead, Mother Vicky, as Dickie Tracy get the scripture. Communion, sweet communion, to self-live with you is what we long to do. Communion, holy communion, Lord, we long to I have received of the Lord that which I also have delivered unto you that the Lord Jesus the same night in which he was portrayed took bread and when he had given thanks he break it and said take eat this is my body which is broken for you this do in remembrance of me after the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped saying this cup is the new testament in my blood this do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man, excuse me, but let a man examine himself. So let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. Thank you. Father God in heaven, we come to you one more time. God, we ask you to touch this part of the service, Father. We ask you, God, to touch, oh God, this bread and this drink, oh Father, as it represents your body and your blood, Father. We ask you to change it and sanctify it right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh. At this time, we ask you to get the parts and just remember that this right here, the bread, represents the body of the Lord, Savior Jesus Christ. Remember that it was beaten for us and what he did. Take, eat, and do it in remembrance of him. Same. This the juice. I'm going to give a chance to open it. I can see a mother still trying to open it.
that this represents the blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Take it and drink in the remembrance of him. Yes, mother, you saying I know it was the blood. I know I'm using you a lot today. Mm -hmm. right. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, Jesus died on the cross. I know it was the blood for me. Yes, I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. Yes, I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was and I know it was the blood for me. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank, you, Lord. Thank, you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Thank you, um, for this opportunity. Thank you for being patient with me. I know um, it seems a little bit unorthodox, as Nick and Tracy said, taking communion online. But, you know, the Bible says as often as you do it, he didn't That's say right. it before. He didn't say how, but as often as you do it. So, you know, until God bless us and that we can meet again on Sunday in face to face in a building, I just thank God for um for this. I, I thank God for this technology. I thank God for um what He is doing for us in Faith Temple. And if our hearts and minds are clear at this time. Pray again, and I just say, Father God, I thank you. For this service, God, I thank you for your word that went forth. I thank you for the fellowship. God, I thank you for the worship of your of your saints, Father, on today. God, we ask you right now to touch every heart, touch every mind, God, touch all body. Oh, Father, touch, oh, God, their souls, oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, God, until we meet again. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen. 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 Everybody amen. have a blessed week. Amen. You do the same. Amen. You too. Now you can also listen to us on your favorite podcast with just a search, Faith Temple and Cog. Listen on the go with your favorite streaming platforms, like YouTube, Spotify, Audible, Apple, Amazon Music, Google, Facebook, and Anchor Podcasts.